on this third reiteration really excited to talk about probably my favorite duo at the time in techno i'll say fijak so i love these dudes it's just too chill like techno producers slash live back slash djs as well you know crazy combination there that uh you know they have been sort of creating a, a techno career a techno path and, and you know they have with with time have become as well sort of a group of renowned djs and artists really like uh, they have collaborated with a lot of people as well to this point and I pre i'm pretty sure there are some djs that uh, they're on the landscape right now like some people actually know who they are so i didn't want to go so overboard uh, on the stuff that people might already know you can go and follow uh, their instagram i love it they really keep it keep you updated and they upload a lot of cool shit so uh you should check them out and yes uh i just like pj you know the first time i picked uh one of their tracks i remember it was plan of skate <laughs> And it was great because it was just different. It was rough, but as well, it has sort of this interlude that was sort of angelical and then went to this sort of hard part, you know, but, and I felt it interesting and I said, okay, okay, who's this Fijak dude? And long and behold, it was like two DJs actually. And then I started looking to their music and really fell in love with their music. I'll say that their music is part of my solid foundation as well, I would say, you know, love. I love their style and just really wanted to know wh why their style was so unique. You know? why, why their style uh, was different and how, how why it works so good in my music library of techno. So, to, to be honest, I do think that it's just the best of both worlds when it comes to Fijak in that creative sense, you know, uh, maybe if you're not too involved in techno or just a casual listener but you know uh once you get into production or djing or whatever you want to get into you start discovering like there's so many approaches when, when you learn to have the right resources you know to do your music or to do music uh, you will find yourself that um you will have a lot of things available you know and i like that these dudes have always sort of reach out you know what's the best thing they can do in terms of production, you know? So I feel like they marry that old school, all that analog gear, you know, they've been known to use, you know, iconic analog gear and getting great sounds, you know, because they pair it like with vintage instruments, you know, there's some musicality to their process when they produce, you know, they try to do like the percussions playing it on a percussive pad. They try to put like a uh, Fender Rhodes, like to, you know, a piano, an electric piano, and on top of that, put some analog pedals as well and send it to a recorder that's recording tape, you know, and tape is different because uh, when you're recording tape, it has sort of a different quality, but as well, it has sort of a, bit, a different sound, it's different. So uh, once they have it there, they're start toggling around with the digital, sort of the new school getting the most out of the system that brings you the most, I'll say, proficient and the most simple. And um, I'll say as well, the best interface to do live. So they toggle around, if something is good, they will usually buy it, we'll try it, we'll see. But at the end, they sort of always reach to be on the verge of technology, um, evolution inside sort of their own uh, techno and music. and. I love it when you marry those two schools really you know in, it just creates this beautiful music this beautiful techno because it has sort of these really energetic like rhythmic and drum pads and a lot of you know drum patterns that i sort of feel some producers have tend to come just you know, there's nothing wrong with making your beats simple, but as well, uh, you know, once in a while you can try to throw a song there that percussively it, it, it breaks the rules as well. You know, those guys really do cool stuff percussively, but as well, um, they, they have a knife for production. They know how to do a track to keep you there. And I love it. I love that, um, you know, they really have their own sort of edge when it comes to production. And yes, man, like, uh, 
I will always love someone that, you know, has the respect and the knowledge for the actual craft and the actual machines, but as well as someone that seeks for the future and wants to see what else uh, can be brought to the table, you know. Um, so yes, I just feel like they use really high end, uh, you know, things to bring you uh, a really good set that's that the quality is more than good. It's something that's unique and experience. And you know, there's this musicality to them as well. I love those melodies as well, you know, sort of vibrant always. And you know, I, I love a lot of things about the production, you know, but ultimately it just goes out to say that uh, maybe I enjoy a little bit more their music because I'm a DJ myself and I mix that music, but as well, um, I'll say that what you will enjoy the most definitely it's gonna be the live show man these dudes can do the live thing as well as their djs as well so uh, there's this edge their live shows have it's it's really brutal violent it's groovy i like it i like it a lot you know i, I really like the duos in techno and yeah um i do like their music uh i do like redemption as well and um uh, you know, as I tell you, those just two chill dudes there, you know, that they like music, you know, uh, they're, as they say, they they quit everything just to dedicate to techno, to producing music. They're in it 100% on this. So, of course, you know, after doing hard work and trying to accomplish your dreams, basically, if you stay too much in music and creation, sort of find a, an illumination to it. Uh, it's not just about oh I'm creative let me buy this gear let me uh, you know do this thing here you know there's something about as well sort of your approach uh, let's say as well um, sort of your intent with music uh, will reward you as well you know so sort of what's your intent what are you thinking you know sort of that approach they have to electronica I just feel like it rewards them with that the beauty of diversifying, always evolving, you know, sort of never attaching to anything, to any specific style, always sort of having that exploration to it. I love it. I think we need people like that, you know, uh, around. And they just remind me of, when I did see them DJ, they just remind me of the old school DJs, man. That back on the O2, uh, you know, 2006, probably even, 2014, I think, as well, that techno was not at its best place. Like techno used to be, used to be dead for a while, really. It was big in Europe, but then in America, it totally died for a moment. Like EDM was the big thing, it exploded. And I remember before that EDM boom, like techno used to be like a dark thing, you know? People knew that there were something targeted probably to young adults, let's say, because it was something different and they exert that vibe you know those old djs that vibe never came back you know? see djs now and it's not just as it's not the same energy those dudes back in the day they were built different those djs as i tell you um back in the 90s as well 90s starting the 2000s you know uh there was an edge to them and that as well that era before and after the big boom of edm like um gave space, you know, because techno was not so mainstream at the moment, maybe yes, in Europe, in the live scene, but on the mainstream scene, you know, it disappeared a little bit, but it gave time for those DJs to create this obscure style. I'm telling you, you can go and watch, go in and search for music of 2019 on Spotify, on techno, you will find a lot of producers that they were doing like really dark stuff, you know, and they remind me, P Jack reminds me of that true spirit of finding really, not really trying to find something that's trendy or that's there, but trying to find something maybe they're trying to achieve something that's cool, that has sonic purity, but as well that has uh, sort of the tape sound, you know, um, of back in the day, but they have definitely are find a, a unique way of, of producing techno, man. And they're visionaries that maybe are young right now, but uh, trust me, man, just keep an eye on them. So, in this reiteration, I do recommend you every live set as well. Um, on Minds of Techno, I'll say PJAC.